Grab did not involve, uh, we did not invent transportation. What we did was we applied technology, mobile technology, thinking about it differently to make it much more efficient than it was before, to help it leapfrog from street hailing, from the radio, to something that was way more efficient via data and infrastructure. Let me use Grab as an example. Uh, how can we help with unemployment? That was exactly the problem set that Anthony and I, myself, my co-founder and myself, set for ourselves. To date, what we have done is we currently have more than 850,000 drivers on Grab throughout Southeast Asia. And these are all drivers who can decide when, where they want to work, and if they want to at all. We have part-time drivers, full-time drivers, and we have drivers who are from all generations, whether it's young or older. Why I use this as an example is because I believe technology is not for any particular generation. We need to think about it in segmented, tailored ways. And we need to understand that when we are thinking of building the next form of economy, we need to take everyone along with us. And we need to understand what the changes and shifts and dimensions are and augment for it. Uh, when we started the company, we were very, very clear that we did not want a single bottom line. We would not have started the company otherwise. I think about it as a Venn diagram of three Ps. People, the people we're serving, the grabbers that we're serving, the partners that we're serving. The other P, which is critical for it to be sustainable, is profit. It needs to be a sustainable business model. And the third P is the planet. Why we're doing this with transportation and, and payments is because it's the only scalable way for us to continue growing as a human race while being sustainable without destroying Earth, Mother Earth as is. So those are some of the things as I think about. Um, it's worked for us at Grab. We would like to encourage other companies to think about it, old and new. Um, I think stereotypes don't help any of us at this point in time. I would urge all of us to think that that potential and opportunity is possible and that we need to do this together because Grab would not be here today were it not for the support that we've gotten, whether from public governments, private funding institutions, global, regional, local, uh, our customers, everyone here, the media as well. So let's think about every single conversation that we have, what we can do to help each other get to the next stage.